This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University. Uh, I'm going to uh, start with sort of, uh, basic rules, and the rules are we follow the agenda to the dot. So I've alerted the speakers that they have 15 minutes to talk. Then we have 10 minutes for clarification questions. You are right, and for you, I give you three minutes. All the people in Ramat Sharon got three minutes extra. How many people are from Ramat Sharon here? So it's a little bit, okay, Shmuel, very good. So you got that. Uh, because, because the goal of the day, we don't have to make any decision. We just have to open our minds and understand the various directions and the potential directions on venture. So I think it's, it's very exciting. We will have ample time for schmoozing at the five minutes. There's going to be a replacement of this to the new speaker. There's going to be coffee there, and there's going to be the other side of coffee over here. Everything is nearby, so it doesn't need to take more than five minutes. So everything is, is planned around that. We have a built-in half an hour backup in the program, which is hidden. You don't see it, but it's there. And I'm sure we'll have just great, 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 uh, great time. I want to start in the eight minutes that I have by simply setting the scene in terms of what uh, the uh, Color Institute of Venture, CIV for short, is trying to do. And I'm going to use a direct slide. So you see I'm not lying. It's slide number four of the board presentation that we have this afternoon with the president of the university and the dean. Showing you, and it's on purpose, you know, with board presentations, basically you do small fonts, people don't read. That's on purpose. Because it's already decided. That's the whole point. So let me just go quickly uh, upon that to, to set the scene for everybody. So first of all, we are an academic institution in a university, which means we are doing what academics are doing all over the world. We are creating new knowledge, we are disseminating current knowledge, and we are influencing with our knowledge. So every academic institution in the world is doing that. But you have to do it on something. You have to select your domain. And our domain is venture. And what is venture? If you open up the various dictionaries, you'll see that venture is basically creating a new endeavor. It's not necessarily venture capital. It can be public, it could be government, it could be a lifestyle venture. I'm always saying, Ellie Sisters open up a pizzeria, it's also a venture, right? But we are focusing on certain ventures. And these are the ventures that essentially innovates, they stimulate jobs in the uh, wider economy and provides return uh, to investors against the risk involved. So this is a long sentence to say we're looking at the combination of few terms here, job, risk, growth, innovation, and returns. So there's a certain venture that we're looking for. And the, in my mind, the way I think about it is a new idea, an entrepreneur, a domain, starting up, how do we make that company successful? And on the other hand, the investor that put money in will be able to get the money out. So it's, it's a dual, dual approach. So that's sort of the definition of the domain. In terms of what we need to do and how we need to do it. So about uh, uh, three months ago, it looks like a year ago, but it was just three months ago, we had the board meeting. So the board gave us a few guidelines. First of all, we are taking a global perspective. We are in Israel, but we are a global organization. We are seeking to become uh, a source of knowledge, source of um, uh, uh, insight, source of inspiration for the, for the world. So uh, that's the reason if people are coming to me and proposing all kinds of Israeli-initiated stuff. I said, ah, not so interesting. If you could present that in a global way, it could be much more interesting. We want to be a hub for other places. We want to allow people to connect with us and for us to share our knowledge. And we want to create an impact on the world. This is not just basic science, coming up with new models, new finance. The best way, you know, we talked about KPIs. What would be a success if five years down the road, there's a new guy, maybe he's sitting right here, up coming up with a new venture capital that has a different model, and that model was written in one of our memos. That will be a success. So we have invented a new model for, for this thing. We have several themes. And I think I want to, I'm not going to delve into all of them, but just, just focus on one of them, which is the theme of what we call the, the pension fund perspective. At the end of the day, 
Companies need money in order to blossom. That's a fact. Pension funds have a lot of money as a, as a, as a sort of a category of institutional investment. We want to be able to convince them and to show them and to build models, financial models for them so they will be able to invest in venture capital firms, that they will be able to invest in companies. We need to structure the whole thing in a way that will convince the ecosystem that it makes sense for them. And currently, unfortunately, it doesn't make sense. That's a, there's a problem here. That's the challenge. There's a famous Kaufman report, the enemy uh, is with us, there's, there's, which is an amazing report. Basically, it tells that adventures didn't work so well in the last uh, 10, 15 years. Um, it's a problem with you who have data, but you know. It's not ventures, it's work, it's venture capital. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Companies succeeded, but not all. Yeah. The enemy is us. Um, we are connected to Tel Aviv University. And uh, we are, and it's an important point, we are um, a university-wide institution. We are hosted here at the Faculty of Management. But we sort of draw the energy from the entire university. So I think it's an important uh, point. Now, we have translated the above internally within our team to few keywords that we use. And I want to sort of reiterate that as we uh, invite uh, Udi to, to talk. So we have a fascinating logo. I think it's quite exciting, this thing. In the logo, built into the logo, we have empty space. We call it the third triangle. And the idea behind this is that we as an essence, as a core competence, invite partners to join us. They can be dissemination partners. They can be research partners. They can be individuals. They can be venture capital funds. They can be anything. And we plan to work with others in order to accomplish the goals that we have here. Um, so that's, I think, is a wonderful idea expressed, built into our uh, logo. So that's the idea of the third triangle. Key terms for what we do, global hub and impact. So is this project or is this article or is this thing global? Yes, good. Can we share it with other people? Is it shareable? Yes, good. Does it create impact? Yes, good. So that's, that, that's how we think about things. We are naturally very much digital in, in nature, uh, and that's kind of clear. We have actually started to conduct a massive work uh, managed by Zoe for various audits. We have about a list of about 70 centers in the world that are sort of similar or related to us. We have 150 researchers in the field. We have 75 papers, uh, what we call seminal papers. We are collecting all of this as a base to share with others and to enable us to work. In terms of geography, we're looking on one hand on becoming a global thing, but there's some focus that we need to make. A little bit of Asia, a little bit of Europe, maybe the US. Less Israel, we're repeating that because it's easy for us to think about Israel and, and what's interesting here, but we, again, we have to think global. In terms of the domain, there's a specific thing here. We are very much, both myself and Moshe uh, Tsviran, who is the academic head of the institute, are, are sort of IT people and digital uh, people, and we have to um, essentially uh, uh, take a, a wider, wider perspective uh, to it. Um, Last but not least, in terms of the allocation of energy, if you go back to this create, disseminate, and influence, we're thinking about sort of 10% management of the thing, 20% creating new knowledge, which is basic research. We want to come up with new ideas, new financing models, new leadership models, new process models, etc. A lot of energy, at least in the first year, for dissemination of knowledge, pushing it out, and of course, using it to directly influence our audiences, whether they're governments or venture capital firms or pension funds, et cetera. So this is our compass, our, our GPS. This is the way we think about things. And without further ado, I would like to invite uh, Udi, who uh, will give us a unique perspective about things. This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University.